Aya, back again. I'm a little bit conflicted about this book. This has got really gross font cover. This is Jimmy Bastards by Garth Ennis. I was recommended to you know check it out by um, a guy on my channel. Cheers, mate. Because it makes fun, it mocks, takes the piss out of the social justice warriors um, stuff. And it certainly does that. It's all about um, having a giggle at the far left and craziness coming from the social justice warriors, right? But um, reading through the book, yeah, I started to get conflicted about what Garth Ennis is doing because the sense that I got whilst reading it was that he thinks that it's just a, a paper tiger and it's something that I need to, to giggle at, really. Because it's nothing too serious, you know, that's going to affect um, everyday life. It's just, you know, people talking on the internet, really, isn't it? And getting upset about things being put on Twitter. Uh, but the problem is that it's not really. It goes a bit deeper than that. Because all this social justice warrior stuff, which comes from the university system, drips down into our culture. And from our culture, drips down in, into, into our politics, into actual policy, which can get people in trouble in the real world. Uh, yesterday I was reading the newspapers in the UK and there's loads of these new really vague um, hate crime laws starting to come in and um, hate speech laws. What is hate speech and what is um, a hate crime? It's very Orwellian and it's very vague and it's an umbrella term really and it comes from the Conservative Party who are supposedly you know right wing so there's there's no opposition um, to this, because of course the Labour Party is going to be in favour of it, right? So it's um, a political consensus, this this hate speech stuff and hate crime stuff. And it just means that um, anyone who criticises the consensus of multiculturalism, diversity, mass Islamic, mainly, it appears at the moment, immigration of incompatible cultures into, into England, anyone who even talks about that in a negative manner, is going to be targeted. So you're going to get a knock on the door in the morning if you put something on Facebook that the government doesn't like. If you if you look at your working class neighbourhood and start to see um, pockets of strange alien tribes popping up, people who don't speak the same language as you, don't want to assimilate, and just setting up their own outpost, really, and turning um, parts of England into parts of, of their country. If you start to question that, if you say, I don't like it very much, England doesn't look like England anymore, um, then that's that's problematic. That's hate speech. You're going to be in big trouble. You might you know, go to jail and lose your job, lose your livelihood. It's a serious problem, and it's all becoming entrenched in, in, um, in law in the UK right now, as I speak. So when you've got Garth Ennis who lives in New York with the, with the First Amendment, mocking this, I, uh, I kind of get a little bit um, triggered, <laughs> to use one of the lefty terms. But I do appreciate what he's doing. Okay, let's look at the book. It begins with this white guy here saying that he's checking his privilege as he's um, looking at, say, a nice bottle of wine there. But um, immediately there's a, a nod to multiculturalism and diversity in that the uh, assistant of this guy, and this guy works for MI6, and oh, God, another government agent. Ah! So, yeah, there's a nod to diversity already. So whilst it, it's mocking it, it's it's very much um, entrenched within the, the narrative that more culturalism and diversity is a good thing because this girl is portrayed as a, as a wonderful young lass and um, he's a bit of a twit even though he's mocking everything that's going on around him she's just a bit bewildered about how, how out of touch I guess he is but say a really funny thing happens here in the story in that say a virus is released called the gender fluid which turns all the, the men into into women and the uh, the women into men. So it's really mocking the, the transgender thing, which um, is that still a big thing on the internet now. So it's having the laugh that, uh, I guess the, is it Bruce Jenner? 
or whatever his girl's name is, that, that kind of thing is, it's mocking it. And the artwork is very, very funny. We've got some highly amusing panels here and some quite risque ones as well with multicultural people and doing them quite gross things. So it's not slightly suitable for kids. Now this comic book, I always want, look at this, it's kind of gross. It does, it does make me laugh. Uh, that's one of my favourite panels, that one there. <laughs> so, it does make you giggle. But the, the, the problem I had with it, right, is that the people who are doing this, who've released the gender fluid, are not working for the government, um, as they are in the, in the real world, but they're um, a crazy group of occultists. You've got the, sort of the Masonic checkerboard floor there. And the guy who's going to sort out the problem is, is a government agent. So it's positioning the, the multicultural government as a solution to the problem. When in reality, uh, the, the multicultural government is actually causing the problem and enabling it to continue and making sure that people certainly don't criticise it on Facebook or YouTube. So, conflicted about this book. I enjoyed it. It made me giggle, but it also made me realise that the problem we've got in the UK, which comes from the far left, academia, into culture, drip down into politics, is is very, very real. And um, you can mock it from New York with that First Amendment, but um, we're not so secure in the UK at the moment. And that really is problematic. So I'll end my review here. Let me know what you think. Um, it made me giggle, but it also made me sad, this comic book. So I do appreciate what Garth Ennis is doing, because it's certainly a lot more than any of the other comic book writers are doing at the moment. I'll be back later, probably doing a DC comic book review, maybe one of those metal events. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. Up or down, subscribe if you like. Uh, would appreciate it. I'm almost near 500 subscribers right now, which is absolutely amazing to me. If I get over 500... I might faint in shock. But yeah, I'm off. See you later. Goodbye.